Some people are doing it in iniquity. They're doing it in vain. See, there's a difference. And the closer you get to God, he will show you who's real and who's not. He said, we'll know them by the fruits that they bear. We're not judging these people. That's not our job. That's God's job. Our job is to be fruit inspectors, to see what's going on. See what's going on. All right. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. You know what that's talking about? we got to get away from wicked people. You hang around dogs, you get fleas. You see what's going on? Separate yourself from the world. That's what the Bible's telling us here. See, the Lord wants to be your best friend. And at first I had trouble with that. I said, where'd everybody go? Where's all my friends at? But you know what? It was actually a blessing because I found Jesus. And you start walking with God, see? And then you find true friends, people that are like you that have a relationship with the Lord. And you'll find out you lose your own friends and you gain new friends, people that's got something in common with you, see? When all you talk about is Jesus, you've got a true friend, see, when you're walking with the blessed. Just like I said earlier, blessed is a man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, see? We have to watch who we hang around. It does matter who we hang around. It does matter who we hang around. You hang around people that cuss all day. I don't care who you are. Eventually that spirit, it's going to rub off on you. You're like, wow, where'd that come from? See, I've been there before. I know what it is. It's no fun working with a lost person every day, hearing saying the Lord's name in vain daily like it's nothing. And see, when you, when you hear that every day, it kind of grabs your spirit. You're like, wow, I can't stand hearing that, see. And you got to get away from it because it, it's disturbing, you see. And the next thing you know, you go home at night, you keep hearing them words, and it bothers you. You see what I'm talking about? Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. See, that's what that's talking about. A lot of us have jobs. And we can't help who's there. What do we do in a case like that? You pray and you ask God to give you a better place to work. See, God does all things well. He knows where we need to be at. He knows where we need to be to prosper. He knows where we need to be to prosper. See, he loves us. Nor standeth in the way of sinners. See, he's telling us, Stay away. Now, how, what do we do about these people? Our job is to pray for these people. Pray. Pray. See, they're blind. They're walking in flesh. They're walking in darkness. They can't see the light. They stay away from the light, see. Our job is to pray for these people and buy them the church and love them back. But we can't hang around. You know, Jesus, everybody... The argument is, well, Jesus hanging around the prostitutes and the drug addicts and the alcoholics and stuff like that. Yes, he did. But he invited the church. And you know what he told them? Repent and follow me. See, turning away from sins. Turning away. Repent. Changing your life. He that loses his life saves his life. What's that about? That is about Doing the will of the Father. Not doing it our way anymore, but doing it God's way. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. See, that's, he's talking again. Read the Bible. Pray. Be, not, don't be hearers of the word, but do be doers of the word. See, when life has situations, when life has situations that come up and we get hung up, we don't know what to do. But all we got to do, if we're meditating day and night on what we read, God will show us the answer through his word. See, you have to think and wait. And then you get hung up in life, 
then a scripture it'll come up to you like this like wow that's the answer see that's the answer that's why it's important to read see you might be listening to somebody that might be not deceiving you not telling the truth and it ain't that they're bad people it's that they're deceived themselves that's why you got to read this for yourself get in your prayer closet seek your own salvation with fear and trembling because you know what when we go meet God on judgment day our church isn't going to be there with us our preacher's not going to be there our deacon our grandparents, our mom and dad, our children. This is about a one-on-one -on -one relationship with the Lord. That's why he says seek your own salvation with fear and trembling. That's why it's important. you got to read and figure this out for yourself.